I do know that, like, I know that a lot of people tuned in early, like, really early on because I said I was angry. And they expected me to um, to do – they had expectations. But it's a testament to the fact that I was able to entertain them, that people stuck around for as long as they did. I mean, we had over 600 people for hours of the stream. Yeah. They probably assumed it was drama. They literally always do that. They assume everything is drama. They hound me for it, okay? These people are, they drive me fucking crazy, okay? You guys, you wanna hear the real anger because I can feel myself getting fucking angry again. I hate it, okay? I legitimately fucking despise this shit. It makes me sick. I wanna spit on them. I wanna fucking dump garbage, the most rancid garbage I can into their fucking trough. It fills me with a dark cruelty. I hate them. I fucking hate them. The drama frogs, they are horrible. They make me sick. Pathetic. And I try not to be too cruel though, because I know to a certain degree Sometimes people just are looking to me because they want to hear my opinion on something. And I get that. And to be honest, it's somewhat flattering. It's flattering to know that people want to hear what I have to say. But also, there's a, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a false thing because they don't really want to just hear my opinion on it. They want to hear anyone's opinion on a drama they're addicted to. So on one hand, I'm like, wow, it feels nice that people want to hear what I have to say on something, which is what like you all, all of you who are still here right now, um, like you guys are the ones who are here to hear what I have to say about it. And you're the ones who I go, that makes me feel good. But the people who show up and ditch when I haven't talked about the drama after 30 minutes, um, those people, I know they don't actually give a shit about what I have to say. I'm an object to them. I'm a content box. I'm a sponge that they want to squeeze dry and take as much as they can from, and it makes me fucking feel terrible, okay? It makes me feel like a fucking piece of shit. One of the worst things of this type of work is how frequently you feel like a commodity. And I know it's not just this work. It's like fucking every work in the world. But it, there's 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 a palpability here. The entitlement that people have towards you, the way that they talk about you, the way that they demand things from you, the way that they get agitated or or whatever. You know, they want to pressure you, but they won't even stick around for 30 fucking minutes to hear your opinions. There were tons of people in the comments. There were people all over the place. People have been heckling me. I was fucking in the hospital with my partner and people were on social media being like, you better have the right take. And it made me want to fucking go ballistic. Okay. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not lying. When I start, when I, I, my stream title, I am angry is completely true. If you don't believe me, you should just, I should just, I should just have Doe come up here and tell, and, and tell you in, in its own words just how fucking pissed off I've been. I know not everybody means it that way, you know? Some people just want to hear what I have to say. Some of you are ju just interested because they people trust me, and that means a lot to me. It means a lot that people trust me. But when people come into my comments and say, you better have the right take about this thing, when you come back to stream, I want to go fucking ballistic, okay? It makes me want to go fucking ballistic. I didn't fucking do anything. I took time away from my work. I lost money to take care of, to, 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 take, to take care of the things in my life that matter to me, you know? I went and focused on what mattered. I didn't do shit, okay? And yet people treat me like fucking shit. They, they, they act like a, I don't know. They act like I don't spend all day of every day doing my own stuff, making my own shit, giving my own opinions, 
uh, you know, making my own jokes. Fucking all that shit. Like, there's something disrespectful about it, right? You know? Like, um, I don't feel like I have ever instrumentalized uh, other streamers in this space, you know? Like, um, like I don't look at other streamers and go, yeah, here's my ticket. <laughs> I do my own thing. I make connections based on people that I like and who I have fun with. When I see that there's an, when I feel like there's a vibe between me and somebody else, and I think that my fans would like what they have to do, I send you all over there. And sometimes people do the same thing for me, and that's great. But there's no, you know, I don't sit here and go, yeah, who could I, uh, who could I suck up to or whatever? I don't do any of that shit. I do my own thing. I make my own thing. I have my own style a style that stands out like visually you can see when you tune into my stream that something different is going on here um and not only that i talk about things that i'm interested in there are times where i will talk about things that other streamers are also talking about usually because they have broader revel relevance there are times when i have gotten um for one reason or another involved in like a broader conversation but i feel like that's uh like the exception rather than the rule like i mean you know i don't sit here and do a stream every time somebody else says something like for example when um when Actual Jake and President Sunday had that argument about Christian, um, about Christianity and religion. I decided to comment on that because it's a topic that was really interesting to me. And I found the conversation funny and interesting. And I thought watching it would be fun for us to do. Now, that's me deciding to participate in a publicly held conversation that other creators have. And I do that from time to time. But I don't sit here and every single day boot up and do uh do uh did you guys hear what they said oh let's review this person's take on this and that person's take on that in fact it's like a a rare case most of what i do on this show is give my own fucking opinion about all kinds of stuff even when people don't like my opinion you know i boot up and i talk a million times about diy hrt or i talk about my experience with religion or i give my opinion about xenogenders or whatever you know, or I talk about a game that I'm playing or whatever, you know, or I go off on a rant about Pathologic 2 again or, or Kojima again or whatever, you know. It's disrespectful when people roll in here and always assume that, uh, I don't know, that like it's my duty or something. To, to fucking follow on the coattails of somebody else. It's disrespectful, you know? And I hate it. I didn't realize like how weird these spaces are about that stuff. I talked about this a little bit at the beginning of the stream, you know, with the whole like centralization of these spaces. But I, when I first came into these spaces, I didn't realize just how fucking weird it was that there was like a, you, that there's like a a, a, a a fucking sucking motion that they want everybody wants you to like get sucked into a specific spot so that you can be easily filed. But uh, why? Why is it like that? I, I, and, and again, I get, I get it to a certain degree, you know, I understand that people want to hear my opinions, especially they want to hear my opinions about people that I have like, like associated with in some way or another, you know? Um, but I, I will give those opinions if I feel it's necessary or if I feel it's beneficial to do so. And I won't if I don't want to, or if I don't think there's anything to be said. I just don't, you know, I can, 
it's so fucking weird that like like these like people put out fucking videos every single day for example i've made videos with xander hall and xan puts out like three fuck or he used to put out like three fucking videos a day he puts out a video a day now how frequently how many of his videos, what percentage of Xander Hall's videos have I fucking talked about on my stream of his takes, of his whatever? We've hung out in person multiple times. I drove, I flew down to California and helped him move up to Washington. Pretty close with Xan, but the amount of times that I like sit there and follow every single thing that he does in his life is like, it's like never essentially. I get it, but I don't get it, you know? And also, you know, it is a little fucking disappointing. I'm just going to be a little vulnerable here, you know? Just a little, just a little vulnerable. Not like I'm not vulnerable all the time, talking about the fucking organ that I lost and whatever. But uh, but I'll be a little vulnerable. It is, it is disappointing. It's disappointing to see that, like, I don't know. People would get more excited with the possibility um, that I might talk about some drama they're addicted to um, than they would for me doing something funny and cool. You know, it's not everybody. The vast majority of my audience is excited for what I have to do. When I put out a stream or a video, they're there for it. They're excited for it. They're ready to watch it. But there's a portion of people who are like that. And that sucks. It feels bad, you know? Like, it's just like, not to judge your tastes or whatever, but like, well, where were where are you when I'm doing cool things of my own? It, it Like I said, it, it makes you feel like an object. It makes you feel like a... Uh, like you're like a well that people want to draw water from and then leave you to dry out.